Good afternoon. I'd like to call the meeting of the City Planning Commission to order. Um, first of all, we'd like to start out with a roll call. Do we have anybody online? Okay. All right. Mayor Vandersteen is here. Here. Alderman, uh, Alderperson Jim Bourne. Here. Ryan's here. Jerry Jones. Marilyn Montemeyer. Here. And Dave and Don are here. Very good. Thank you. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's like a Next is uh, introduction of committee members and staff. Uh, I'm Mike Vandersteen, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan and Chairman of the uh, Planning Commission. Dave Hoffman, Citizen Director. Chad. Chad Pelishek, Planning Director. Steve Soklowski from the Planning Department. Uh, Ryan Sassman, Department of Public Works. John Sweetman, Commission Member. Alderman Jim Boren from the 10th District. I'm the uh, Alderman on the Commission. <laughs> Marilyn? Mar Marilyn Monty Mayor, citizen representative. Thank you very much. Um, next item is, uh, th does any of the members here have any uh, potential conflict of interest with the item on the agenda? Seeing none, then we'll uh, go on to the minutes. Uh, we're looking for approval of the Planning Commission minutes that were uh, forwarded to you from May 12th of 2020. And entertain a motion. To approve? Second. We have a motion, motion from Hoffman, second from SASMA to approve. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to items for discussion and possible action. Item 3.1 is a conditional use and variance application by U.S. Cellular to construct a new temporary 127-foot communication tower on the Sheboygan Water Utility property located at 2925 Georgia Avenue. Steve. All right. Jim Weinman is here representing U.S. Cellular. So I'll go through the staff report, Jim, and then if you have any comments that you'd like to add, feel free to do so. Um, what we're, taking a, what we're taking a look at is the Sheboygan Water Utility, the water tank at um, 2925 Georgia Avenue. Right now, U.S. Cellular has a lease agreement with the water utility, and they have several antennas located on the top of the uh, water tower. Um, at this point in time, the water utility is in the process of painting the water tower. And so in order to do that, they need U.S. Cellular to move their antennas at the top of the uh, tank. And with that uh, being done, U.S. Cellular is requesting a temporary communication tower. This would be a 127-foot high temporary tower. Um, it would be installed on the east side of the existing water tank be approximately 12 to 15 taller, 12 to 15 feet taller than the water tank, so the antennas aren't, aren't blocked by the tank. And uh, the request for this is obviously USL <coughs> has their customers, but in addition, there are uh, customers with the city in terms of the water utility, as well as with the city and county uh, emergency services that are on the antenna. So that's uh, the reason being to have the, the temporary tower. Um, according to the water utility, it would take approximately about 60 days to complete the project. So this tower would be up for approximately two to three months. And then at when the tower gets completed, as or when the water tank gets completed with the, the painting, the tower would be, the antennas would be relocated back onto the antenna, and then the temporary tower uh, would be removed from the site. So this is uh, just an action that's occurring so that the water utility can paint the water tower and that U.S. Cellular can keep their uh, communications going at the same time. So staff was recommending approval of that with the conditions you have before you. 
the water utility provided some information, Joe Trueblood, the supervisor, indicating that they're in support of what's being proposed here to get that job done as far as the tower painted. Thank you very much for that report, Steve. Uh, would the applicant like to make any further remarks? Uh, no, I think Steve covered it pretty well, but if any of the uh, members of the committee have any questions, I, I'm happy to answer whatever I can. Okay, committee members, any questions? If not, I'd entertain Mayor, I, uh, Go ahead, Jim. Uh, uh, thank you, Mayor. I, I reviewed the proposal uh, yesterday, and it seems like a very good plan, so therefore I would make a motion to approve subject to conditions. Thank you very much for that motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. Who seconded? Don. Don seconded. So that motion's on the floor. One last call for any discussion on the motion. Hearing none. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. We're looking at our next meeting then would be on June 9th of 2020. And with that, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you very much for your time today. We stand adjourned. Uh -huh.